Uh, I'm Erin Kaufman. I'm the market manager for the Durham Farmers Market in downtown Durham, North Carolina. The Durham Farmers Market is pretty large, all local and producer only farmers market. We're open on Saturday mornings year-round and Wednesday afternoons during the summer, the spring and summertime. We have 71 total vendors at the at the Durham Farmers Market. About 75% of the vendors are farmers, and their products range from vegetables and fruits, meats, eggs, cheeses. We have two different farmers that just grow mushrooms. <laughs> um, in, the, in the meat category, there's, you know, there's chicken, pork, beef, the usual, but then we also have farmers that raise buffalo and duck and quail and rabbit and all, all kinds of things. The the farmers at the who sell at the farmers market are constantly trying to expand the range of products that they can uh, raise and grow within 70 miles of Durham. The other 25% of our vendors are um, crafters and prepared food, and that 25% really... <laughs> runs the gamut. You know, we have bakers and pasta makers and people who make nut butter and pickles and preserves and um, Persian food, like all kinds of stuff. And we also have some some like true crafters, artisans, people who make pottery and do other art type crafts. On a typical Saturday, we have about 2,500 to 3,500 customers. On a typical Wednesday, we'll see anywhere between 800 and 1,000 people coming down to the Wednesday market. It's a pretty big operation. We have a lot of customers and people who live in Durham who are really excited about local food and, and shopping local. We're located in Durham Central Park, which is about a five-acre green space in the middle of downtown Durham. And uh, we're in a pavilion so half of our vendors, or most of our vendors, are underneath the pavilion. But in the summertime, when everything's really big, the farmer's market just kind of goes on <laughs> all the way around the park. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty cool how big it is. So the Durham farmer's market is an all-local and producer-only farmer's market. And that means that everything that is is available at the Durham farmer's market is grown, raised, produced, or made within 70 miles of Durham. And producer only means that the people who are selling you the food and selling you the products are the people that made or grew or raised the products. What's available at the Durham Farmer's Market is a reflection of what can be grown and raised within 70 miles of Durham. As the market manager, I do kind of a little bit of everything. I'm responsible for the market day operations, making sure that all the farmers and vendors know where to set up, that they get set up in a timely manner and in an organized manner. I organize all of the events that happen at the farmer's market. So when we have cooking demonstrations or cooking classes or tastings or even the music that's at the market, I do all the coordination for that kind of stuff. And other things that I do during the market, I you know, I look out for safety and just make sure that, that everything is running very smoothly so that the farmers and vendors who are coming there to be face-to-face -face with their customers don't have to think about the logistics of anything. They just come, sell, and, and are able to make their money. We have, a, we have a couple of staff members. We have an assistant market manager, so she and I coordinate what she does. We're just about to start accepting um, SNAP benefits, which is, the, which is food stamps. Um, and we have a woman who is coordinating that program, so she and I are working out all the logistics of that. I do things like keep records, deposit money, you know, order t-shirts, <laughs> coordinate events, you know, clean the bathrooms. <laughs> There's just like whatever needs to be done to operate the business, I it mostly falls on me. We have a board of directors that is actually responsible for setting policy and kind of the overarching parts of the market, but I kind of do the little day-to-day -day things. What I enjoy the most about my job is that there's always new challenges and there's always things that are changing and and developing. And so it's it's challenging in a way that I really like because I'm constantly getting to figure out new new things and try new things and get new skills. And it's not like I sit and do the same thing every day. Plus, I don't have to sit in an office every day. Two days of the week, I get to be at market and walk around and interact with really interesting people. I think that one of the most challenging parts of my job is um, dealing with all kinds of different personalities and 
and making sure that every everything is dealt with in, in a really professional customer service oriented way so that everybody um, feels heard and feels valued. At the same time, like that's kind of one of the, the more rewarding parts of my job when I can do that really well. I have a bachelor's degree from Guilford College um, in environmental studies and geology. And while that's not really related to farming at all, I have a lot of experience working on farms and understanding understanding the life of a farmer. I didn't really have any training before I got this job. I started working at the farmer's market when I was 23 or 24, and my previous jobs had been working on farms in the summertime. Um, you know, I, I was a waitress one summer in college, that kind of stuff. But the first year out of school, I co-managed a f- one of the farms that I had worked on when I was in high school. Um, so I, I really got to dig in and manage all the different aspects of the farm. And so I think that that really helped me uh, learn how to juggle all kinds of different things at the same time. When I was in college, I was the president of the bowling league and I was the general manager of the radio station. Those two things I feel like were really, really helpful in, in gaining the skills to manage volunteers and, and coordinate large organizations that are large but a little bit unstructured but do have structure. I feel like when I when I interviewed for the job, I was like, yeah, I managed my college radio station and I did all this. And it, it was kind of all very relevant to the tasks that they were looking for. And also I had a truck. <laughs> that was that was a question, <laughs> but that's not really why I got my job. But my, my job started out w- with a pretty narrow sc- scope. And the longer that I've been the manager of the farmer's market, I've been there for eight years. Um, it's really kind of grown and changed. And I, I've kind of, I've got gotten to shape it into the job that it is now, just based on kind of years of experience and getting to understand more and more and and better how the market operates and what their needs are. I've learned a lot. It's it's pretty it's pretty exciting. Another thing that I think really helped me with getting my job is my, the school that I went to was a li- liberal arts college. It was really writing intensive and it was also it was pretty unstructured. And so I I kind of learned how to self-direct and get things done w- without a lot of direction, without a lot of structure. And I think that that really serves me well because I can kind of look at the big picture and see what needs to be done and kind of make myself do it because I I learned those skills in college. For students who might be interested in a similar career to mine, I think I think the best thing that you can do is when you're starting out, you know, when you're in high school, when you're in college, find jobs that you really are interested in, even if they don't pay you very well, and try and gain as many skills as you can. Because I never thought that I would be the manager of a farmer's market, and I never thought that I would have this job for eight years, but I feel like I I picked up a lot of skills along the way. I never had like a really well-paying job when when I was younger, but... I learned so much that I can apply in my job right now. And it it was because I did things that really fascinated me. I worked on farms. I worked with, I worked with animals. I worked with plants because that was really interesting to me. 